Hi, I'm Brian, your tutor for the writing unit. Have you ever had a hard time getting two sides to agree? Sure, everything might seem great at first, but when things get complicated, those two sides might find they have a hard time agreeing on anything. The same can be said of subject-verb agreement. Throw in some extra clauses, modifiers, and prepositional phrases, and you might find yourself wondering how the subject and verb ever agreed in the first place. In this lesson, we'll introduce you to the basics of subject-verb agreement. Let's start with a review. A clause is a string of words that conveys an idea. Whether dependent or independent, every clause must contain a subject and a verb. The SAT will test your ability to differentiate between correct and incorrect subject and verb pairs. This sounds simple, but other parts of a sentence can interfere with the subject-verb agreement. Remember, a singular subject goes with a singular verb, and a plural subject goes with a plural verb. For example, in this sentence, 20 players was on the team. The singular verb was doesn't match the plural subject players. The sentence should read, 20 players were on the team. The plural verb were matches the plural subject players. In this example, it was easy to identify the subject players. But it's not always this simple because strategically placed modifiers can make it difficult to find the subject. A modifier is a word or phrase that describes another word. Keep in mind that subjects won't occur within modifiers. Let's take a look at an SAT example. Bob Hope, long considered a hero by many members of the military, were very patriotic. We need to read the sentence, determine if there is an error, and then select the answer choice that works best in the underlined portion. In this sentence, long considered a hero by many members of the military is a modifier. Since it's a modifier, we know that the subject won't be found in this phrase. As it's separated by commas, let's simplify this question by looking at the sentence without the modifier. Our sentence becomes, Bob Hope were very patriotic. Now we can easily identify our subject as Bob Hope. It also becomes very obvious that the verb were is incorrect. Our subject is singular, so the verb should be was. Answer choice D is the correct answer. Similar to modifiers, Prepositional phrases can also interfere with subject-verb agreement. Prepositions are words that usually precede nouns and refer to location or direction. Examples of prepositions include above, across, along, behind, below, from, into, near, of, to, with, and underneath. A prepositional phrase is a group of words including a preposition and its object. Just like with modifiers, we can ignore prepositional phrases when we're checking subject-verb agreement. You can bracket out the prepositional phrase to find the correct verb that goes with it. Let's take a look at another sentence. The reluctance of the top ambassadors to initiate diplomatic exchanges with neighboring countries were baffling to many observers. To find the proper subject-verb agreement, we have to separate out the prepositional phrases. There are actually four prepositional phrases in this sentence. Of the top ambassadors, to initiate diplomatic exchanges, with neighboring countries, and to many observers. We know that we can disregard these prepositional phrases because any noun within a prepositional phrase is an object, not a subject. And because it isn't a subject, it can't be part of a subject-verb agreement. Let's look at how this sentence would read without these prepositional phrases. It would read, the reluctance were baffling. We can now clearly see that the singular subject reluctance needs a singular verb instead of were. So was is our answer, choice C. I know, it's a lot of information, but chances are this stuff is second nature to you. Just remember to read sentences thoroughly to yourself and remove those modifiers and prepositional phrases. This makes it easier to identify the subject and determine the correct verb for each sentence. Now, make sure you practice at least a few of the hundreds of problems available throughout this course.